Hey everybody, this is Chris, and uh, we're going to um, just test this out in a parking lot, and then we're going to cut straight from here and go to the reservoir and check the standard and sport mode speeds into the wind. You can hear the wind. Uh, we'll see what we'll check what the wind is once we get down there, and I'll pop it up on the screen. But uh, it's probably windier here since I'm at a much higher elevation. I'm actually at a funeral home, but. Uh, really kicking up now but we're just going to mainly uh, check the sensors and I'm going to forewarn you the bottom sensors are warning are, are working and uh, it's going to be very annoying because right around three meters and below is where it just constantly beeps so we'll just show you that it works as an alert it doesn't stop or anything I can put my hand under it it doesn't it doesn't affect it I can make it land straight into my hand uh, it doesn't even hesitate so the bottom sensors are more working more as an alert where the forward and reverse sensors actually stop the quad dead in its track. So we'll we'll lift her up off the ground and I'll show you that. And I uh, got a screen recording going. And uh, start her up. So right there you can hear the bottom sensor. I'll take it to three meters a second or three meters high. So right there at about three meters, 2.9. It stops and it's not showing anything on the screen but it's beeping at me probably because we're right at that point. But, uh, kind of see how it does here in the wind holding itself. Move it forward so you can see better. I think I got that in the screen. We'll back it up here. So right here it's picking us up. Move it forward a little bit. All right, so just so you can see, I'll, I'll get underneath it and you won't even be able to tell anything at all. So it'll land right into my hand. It won't hesitate at all. So now, let's see how it does coming at me. I'm going to get in front of it. Let me bring it up. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, I'm gonna go get in front of it. Sun's coming from this, that direction right there actually. And uh, we'll bring it at me this way and see how it does. sensors back sensors are working perfectly fine it's just the bottom sensors they work like an alert and uh, I wish I could turn the beep off I really do but let's turn the sensors off period and um, I've got a little bit of battery here we'll just fly around here a little bit and then um, 
we'll uh, go down. I'll just cut straight from this video and go uh, down to the reservoir and fly there. So uh, let's try. Let's land it and give it a um, uh, accuracy return to home. So we'll take we'll take off, and then uh, I'll stand exactly where it takes off, and we'll, we'll just do a return to home and see what it does. go too far flying around here in standard mode and we're running a good 10 meters a second with the wind behind us let's come up a little bit to get get above these wires actually doing very well. 6.4 meters here. Dropping down. Now I'm going into the wind. I didn't really I didn't even set the camera up so I can see we're we're overexposed in the horizon here so now you can see we're going straight at the wind <laughs> and it's at a dead stop so here's a good time to put it into sport mode confirm and now we're getting See, this is where you need sport mode, guys. This right here will save your butt. So that brings us up to a, a speed where I can at least get it back. I can hear it overhead. Let's get away and um, do a return to home. And we'll see how it does precise landing. Okay, so let's uh, let's return to home. Returning to home. And let's see where she goes. Oh, I forgot. I have the altitude. Uh, I have it set for the heights down at the reservoir. Reach the maximum altitude. So it's coming back. And I'm staying I'm staying right here in my location. We'll see landing. where it lands. Please make sure landing point is safe. The aircraft battery is low. Please route into home.
bring the battery or the camera down here. Look at that. I'm getting pushed back a little bit, but. Unsafe environment. Cannot land. So it says unsafe. Landing. Please make sure landing point is safe. pretty accurate it pretty much came exactly back to where it took off from um, enough to where all I had to do is reach my hand out and grab it it did detect an unsafe landing area and I just had to confirm for it to land and then it landed right into my hand so overall I mean with this kind of wind speed I can't really complain because um, this is this is pretty much exactly how the uh, Mavic 2 would be handling it it would be a little bit faster, but not much. Uh, but without sport mode, we would have been in big trouble today. So uh, that was a good little test right there, but we'll take it down to the reservoir, just do a quick shot of it flying that uh, standard mode and sport mode into the wind and then with a tailwind, and I'll confirm it right there. But uh, so far with that right there, I'm happy. Um, again, bottom sensors are working fully. So we are getting some progress here. Um, I'm still just not crazy about this quad. I, I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of all the bad stuff that started out. Uh, but I'm just not crazy about it. But also when we uh, get this all edited, uh, we'll see if there's any jello. Let you guys decide if you see jello or not. And uh, I'll have that all in the, edit, in the video once I edit it. Um, we do have a ND4 filter on here, just for the record, just so you guys know, and I'll keep that on down at the reservoir as well. So, um, sorry if my camera wasn't adjusted. I didn't really think about it. So, it is what it is, and uh, we'll see how the image turns out. So, from here, let's go down to the reservoir and uh, see how we do there.